um you know uh, usually these kind of people when they lose these kind of jobs uh, some people expect that they can get some unemployment benefits uh, there are uh, a lot of unemployment benefits uh, that you would say uh, offers so can these people opt for it so it's hard for a h1b non immigrant to get unemployment benefits because again every state has different rules but most states require a person to be available and ready to work whenever the work is available in order to get an unemployment benefit they have to be out there looking and available to you know work as soon as it's available as soon as the job is offered to you unfortunately a h1b worker cannot work for any employer they have to only work once the h1b gets approved um and this makes uh, uh you know it hard for them to comply with unemployment benefit rules that's why mostly they don't get unemployment benefits um and with the exception of the 60 day grace period uh, rule the person can't file a transfer uh if they're out of status because you know as i said they the h1 would have been withdrawn or they have no pay stubs and therefore it becomes difficult again because they're not available to work uh for them to get unemployment benefits yes hi this is prashanti i welcome you all to our upcoming webinar on 13 june 2024 we will discuss live h1b rfe cases for the cap season 2025 and answer audience questions left during the session if you want to register for the same follow the link in the description Don't forget to subscribe to our videos if you like what you see. Also give us a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Thank you.